Hey there, Mail community. I hope you've had a great weekend. This is Dr. Foster coming to you with Bulldog E-News for the week of January 9th, 2023, already the second week of the brand new spring semester. So first, uh, students and families, I want to give kudos to our students. Obviously, this past week, we had a three-day week of instruction, uh, getting back to some normalcy after a nice long winter break. Um, it was the end, actually, of the third six weeks in the fall semester, uh, which ended this Friday, January 6th. So parents' report cards for the fall semester uh, will be coming very soon, not this coming week, but the following week, and we'll let you know when those are posted uh, into Infinite Campus. A pretty short uh, weekly update this week, but parents, I want to start uh, with an item that I included last week. I want to make you aware um, that we are emphasizing some things that we really needed to work on and improve uh, at the end of the fall semester. And I start with a reminder that we are a traditional optional school in this district. Our students and families seek out Louisville Mel High School, the traditional school environment. Many of you have been in the traditional program since you were in kindergarten. Many of you expect a learning environment with high expectations, high levels of support, and obviously high achievement. And it's our job to make sure that happens. So this past week, we did remind our students, we did re reteach and reemphasize some things, including uh, dress code, use of technology, and profanity in hallways. So parents, I want to remind you that our dress code is linked here below. I got some questions about our dress code Email me throughout the course of the week. Each of those was answered inside of the dress code. Uh, feel free to reach out at any point, but also make sure you check this dress code. It's not changed at all uh, during the course of this year, but not only review it for yourself, but review it with your student. Uh, that's very important as we move forward. We also have some visuals here for you uh, to always refer to and to use. They won't be up there forever. Uh, but again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to myself or one of our assistant principals. I also included uh, last week, and I'm leaving it here this week, uh, the remainder of the school calendar uh, for the school year 22-23 in JCPS. We actually began to get some calls this week about a graduation date. And I want our seniors and senior families to understand that the graduation date typically is not formally determined and set until around the March board meeting. And uh, the reason why that is, is obviously we want winter wet weather to basically run its course uh, for the most part. I knock on wood as I say that. And we, by that point in time, we typically have a good handle on the number of makeup days if needed. Um, and that allows the school district to really formally understand when that last day of school should happen, obviously borrowing any natural uh, disasters or emergencies, et cetera, and then start to really set and, and hone in on a graduation calendar. So if you've called and asked, or even if you haven't, uh, our graduation date should be set um, around the, board, the March board meeting and will be made public at that time. I will tell you to this point, the last day of school has not been changed. We've not pushed back school for any reason. So that's where we currently set. I also included uh, just a glimpse of the window of time from the start of the spring semester through spring break so students and families could plan accordingly with days off from school. So be sure to check that out. Want to remind our seniors about baby and buddy ads that are sold uh, through our yearbook staff and included in our yearbook each year. Those are really cool recognitions and memories for seniors. Uh, don't miss out on that. That is that is a deadline that will come and go, and that is not an endless opportunity. Uh, once again, our counseling newsletter is included. Our counselors are doing a great job making sure all of our students uh, have information uh, for the post-secondary planning process, uh, social and emotional health, uh, all things counseling, and they're doing a great job. Athletics picked back up last week as we got back into the swing of school. Very proud of our student athletes. We got a few shout outs, but I want to come back to something I typically say uh, the first week of school. And uh, I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't say it at the beginning of the spring semester. Uh, students, families, staff, don't hesitate to send us something cool to shout out. We love to put it here on eNews. We typically blast the same information on our mail social media pages. Anytime we get a chance to brag on Bulldogs, we want to do so. Um, whether it's school related, community related, nonetheless, good stuff. The world needs as much of that as possible. So hope you had a great first week back. I hope you got a chance to get some rest this weekend. A little belated Happy New Year. Um, let's keep our momentum going, students, and have a great second week of the spring semester. Take care. Stay well. We'll see you soon.